Hey gamers, are you still stuck with laggy emulators or clunky controls? Today, I'll dive deep into the four most played Android emulators for PC in 2024. We'll test them on Free Fire, Asphalt 9, and Call of Duty, Mobile, PUBG, etc. to see which one truly dominates in performance, FPS, controls, and graphics. Stick around till the end because my conclusion might just surprise you. Let's jump right in. We all know emulators and have already spent thousands of hours trying them out. But the problem is, once we try one, we often get stuck with a million issues. That's why I've tested more than 20 emulators and shortlisted the four best ones for PC in 2025. The real challenge? Running the most played games, Free Fire, PUBG, COD Mobile, and Asphalt 9, on each emulator to find the ultimate champion. I'll evaluate FPS, controls, graphics, and Android version support. So let's see which emulator takes the crown. First up, we've got BlueStacks, arguably the most popular Android emulator on the planet. The latest version, BlueStacks 5, is optimized for Windows 11 with Android 11. With Free Fire, BlueStacks gives a stable 60 FPS on medium settings. The controls are customizable and responsive, making it a good option for shooters. But I faced a mouse stuck problem and sometimes it worked automatically. When I tried to play at max resolution, it gave me lags and FPS drops. But overall, in native display resolution, it's okay. Racing through Asphalt 9 is buttery smooth, although there's a slight input delay on high graphics settings. The controls are responsive, but reducing the graphics slightly can improve performance for a smoother experience. Unfortunately, I got banned within seconds while playing both games, even after switching accounts. PUBG and COD lovers, this might not be your best bet. Second on our list is Nox Player, a platform known for its macro recording and root access features. However, when it comes to real-world gaming performance, Nox Player struggles to deliver a smooth experience across popular titles for free fire. While the emulator claims to support the game, players will notice frequent stutters and inconsistent FPS, making smooth gameplay nearly impossible. Additionally, the controls require extensive manual tweaking, which can be frustrating, especially for casual gamers looking for a plug-and-play experience. When it comes to Asphalt 9, Nox Player does not support games like Asphalt 9, Call of Duty Mobile, and PUBG. This limitation is due to compatibility issues with certain game engines and graphics requirements. Overall, not recommended for a seamless gaming experience. Finally, we have Game Loop, developed specifically for gaming. Let's see if it lives up to its hype. For Free Fire, Game Loop delivers exceptional performance. With 90 FPS support on compatible PCs, the game runs smoothly, even on higher settings, making it one of the best options for Free Fire players. Asphalt 9. The graphics are stunning, but occasional frame drops may occur during intense races. It's still enjoyable, but lowering the graphics can ensure a more consistent experience. Game Loop shines here. It's practically built for COD Mobile and PUB Mobile, offering smooth, responsive, and visually stunning gameplay. A top-tier experience for FPS enthusiasts. Game Loop excels in performance but can be demanding on system resources. Next, let's test out LD Player. This emulator is optimized for gaming, boasting a lightweight design and excellent FPS support. LD Player runs Free Fire flawlessly at 60 FPS, even on high settings. The mouse sensitivity feels spot on, and the controls are smooth. Even I think LDP layer run Free Fire more smoothly than any other emulator. I did not face any auto movement problem like Bluestax. Asphalt 9 performs decently but struggles slightly on max graphics. However, the low latency more than compensates for any minor drawbacks. I also play PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile. LD player shines with ultra smooth gameplay and minimal input lag. On the other hand, only Game Loop can handle these games. LD player ensures clear win for FPS lovers, as it ensures a fluid experience during intense moments. LD Player is an efficient choice for gamers looking for performance without a heavy system load. So, which emulator came out on top? If you're looking for raw gaming performance, Game Loop takes the crown, especially for FPS titles. For raw gaming performance, Game Loop is unbeatable, especially for FPS titles. If you're looking for a balance of performance and efficiency, LD Player is your best bet. Meanwhile, BlueStacks remains a solid option for casual gamers. And for those who need advanced features like root access, Nox Player might be worth considering, though it's not ideal for gaming. No matter which emulator you choose, one thing is clear. Playing Android games on PC in 2025 has never been better. Let me know your favorite emulator in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more ultimate guides like this one. See you next time.